Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to the Fae Realm. It's Tiara Tuesday, also Throwback Tuesday, and yes, I am still in my comfortable hoodie because I feel like it. But otherwise, I got a little bit, a little bit girled up today, which, you know, is a fun thing to do every now and again. Uh, again, today is Throwback Tuesday, and I'm really excited about this one. If I can make it work the way that I want it to, because I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of, no joke, three hours today trying to figure out how to make a game that wants to run in a full window actually work with a live stream. <laughs> It was such a pain. Hi, Mac. How are you, my dear? I hope things are going well for you. I hope your little man is feeling better. I was, I was sad to see that he wasn't feeling well. Uh, but yeah, it's been... <laughs> it has been a time trying to get this damn thing to do what I want it to do. But I think I have it sorted. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, that is uh, definitely one of the harder things, I think, about uh, small children and animals is uh, dealing with their puke. Uh, John, uh, John threw up earlier today, and that was so much fun to deal with. Love it. But without further ado, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. Uh, just the word fluids. It, it feel, it's, it's like it's like the word moist. You know, it's just it's just gross in a very particular kind of way. All right, so peek behind the scenes. The only way I've been able to figure out to make this damn game work is to have it show my desktop. So I have a look at all of my beautiful icons that I have on there. Uh, and brace yourselves, uh, it's going to get noisy for a second because the initial, like, sound bounce is obnoxiously loud. So, deep breath on that one. Uh, I'm going to actually turn the desktop audio down a skosh. Uh, so here's the deal. Once we're in the game, I can't pause it because if I pause it, then I get bounced out of the game and the screen goes to black. So we are in this now for the whole game. It's probably about a three hour game if it's like the previous one. Uh, and if not, well, I guess we're gonna figure it out. So, brace yourselves, quick noise. It worked. All right, Mac, how's the sound? I still can't understand it. Somehow I managed to oversleep. And on the big day. Luckily, I arrived right on the money. It was some big deal. They were opening the tomb of some big shot pharaoh. The kids had given up their summer vacation to come and help the professor. Just think, this tomb has remained undisturbed for thousands of years. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm all a-quiving. Who knows what lies behind these doors? Untold treasures, <laughs> perhaps. Oh, great! Mysteries! I hate mysteries. Laugh trap, shush. Just open the tomb, you silly little man. Sir Alistair Lovelace was a big mucky muck from the London Museum. But he sure smelled like trouble. <laughs> What a horrible thing to do to that lock. Per Absen, a king from the second dynasty. Wonderful. At last. Oh, what a find. Who knows how many years of human history we've uncovered here today. Uh, Professor, um, I, I, I seem to, uh, uh, that is... Owen! Don't juggle those funerary jars. We must respect these ancient relics. Or maybe we should get out of the way for a while. Uh, good idea. You kids can come back tomorrow. 
Always try on the cursed jewelry. That's the rule. You have to. Her absence was believed to be aligned with Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. It is even more astounding than your limited perception could ever imagine, Doctor. Ever since I was a poor child on the streets of London, I've dreamed of finding this sort of power. Quickly now, load everything into the trucks, including my esteemed colleague. Soon, my friend, the world will know the power of Set and the genius of me, Alistair Lovelace. Ooh, there are so many evil things for us to do. <laughs> Something was up. I had that feeling I get right before an earthquake. The kids had other things to worry about. Well, Joni, I guess this makes you an international jewel thief. Can you at least pretend you're helping, Santiago? I cannot get this thing off. I was like a stab in her knuckle. My finger. Maybe it likes you, Joni. It looks like some sort of ceremonial ring. You better let Professor Botch know you have it. Okay, Leslie, I'll tell him tomorrow. But it's so embarrassing. I never should have touched this ring in the first place. No, ma'am, you should not have. We didn't know it then, but Egypt was about to get a lot harder than usual. You want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. I know, it wasn't even a good looking piece of jewelry. It's huge and gaudy. It looks like a piece of costume jewelry. It's not even like, it shouldn't have even really appealed to, I'm going to say they're what, about 12 or 13? Something like that. So it goes, I guess. All right, let's start this game. The clue finders need you to help them rescue the professor and, refer and return the artifacts to their rightful places. But beware, the forces of chaos are at work. You may tangle with giant crocodiles and need to cross giant underground chasms. If you're ready for this mysterious adventure, sign your name below. I hate being right all the time, but my instincts told me something bad would happen, and boy, did it ever. We'd all gone back to the dig early, but the place was deserted. Everything's gone. Where's the professor? How'd they get all that stuff out of here without being seen? Probably an inside job. And I had a pretty good idea who was behind it. I've got a feeling the professor is in trouble. We've got to help him. How are we going to do that, Joni? We needed a lucky break. Something left behind, or... Hey! What a so great way to find a hidden door. door. Good boy. Good investigation check there, puppy. I wonder what it is. Oh. Egyptian kings were always buried with spells of protection and other important writings. This one was hidden away from the other treasures, so it must be very important. And it's our only clue. Clue to what? We, read it? we need to find someone to translate this scroll. Let's put it in the backpack and get back to Cairo. This mystery could spell trouble. If you're in a jam and you need help, just ask me. I'm here for you. And if you need to know where you are, or you want to take a break, use me. Come on, Clue Finders, let's roll. Welcome to the desert's hottest Jeep dealership. You folks look like you're on your way to Cairo. Am I right? Why, yes. Have I got a deal for you? A deal you for you? What an awful accent. Jeeps, but only one can make it to Cairo. 
multiply the two numbers on the sign above a Jeep to find out how far that Jeep can travel. The sign pointing to Cairo tells you how far you need to travel. Pick the Jeep you want when you're ready to go. Do you think they're trying to make him look like an Egyptian Elvis or was that just a coincidence? Huh, 20 miles per gallon. There's six gallons. It's 120 miles. This one should Step be fine. Aside. Give me the wheel. Lap traps in charge. Zip. Good kitty. Good kitty. Where to now? We have to find someone who can translate the scrolls. Meow. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> that dog. Good dog. Socrates, come here. <laughs> Their dog's Lucky name is for Socrates. Us, the place is empty. <laughs> oh boy, customers. I didn't hear you come in. Sorry about that. You caught me napping. When you're 5,000 years old, you need lots of rest. 5,000 years old? Wait a minute. Hey, if you're so old, do you recognize this? Hmm, this. This, as a matter of fact, this scroll tells of an ancient evil. I knew the professor was in trouble. Whoever took your professor is up to no good. He wants to unleash the power of Set, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos. Oh, great! I hate chaos. How can we stop him? Legend has it that the ancients built a mysterious place of power. Those worthy enough to enter would be granted the power needed to stop Set. This scroll has five clues that will guide you on your first step toward locating this place of power. But wait, the clues are written in an ancient code. I can't read this without chiroglyphs. Oh, chiroglyphs. What are chiroglyphs? Ancient pottery pieces with letters carved upon them. Bring me back 12 chiroglyphs, and I'm sure I can decipher the first clue. But where can we find these mysterious chiroglyphs? Hey, you're the clue finders, not me. But it shouldn't be too hard. Luckily, this is the chiroglyph district. Everyone around here collects chiroglyphs. You can count on us. <laughs> Those kids are going to do fine. I just want to know how he knew they were the clue finders. They didn't introduce themselves. Um, also, yes, educational games making you do maths. How very dare. But yeah, this is so, so 90s. It actually hurts me. Guess we better go find those chiroglyphs. Yeah, I guess we better. All right. This time we have all four of the kids, not just Santiago and Joni. Import export office. Let's go have a knock. Read the directions on the tag and the package to figure out where the package should go. Then place the pin on the correct location on the map. Here you are, my friends. Uh, this state is northeast of Vermont. It is not New Hampshire. Northeast makes it Maine. Your skill is exceptional. This, Here we go again. This state borders on the Gulf of Mexico. This state borders on Texas. I mean, come on, free labor is, is such a, a thing that kids do, right? That's just. You are such a help to me. That's how they uh, spend their summer vacation. The state is further east than Texas, and the state is a peninsula. A chiroglyph, young adventurers.
Here we go again. The state is west of Kansas and north of New Mexico. Hello, Colorado. How many do I have now? You are such a help to me. I didn't realize how many I'd collected. One. All right, two so far. This country is east of Colombia and west of Guyana, Venezuela. Excellent. I'm all out of chiroglyphs, but I could still use your help. I I'm here for the chiroglyphs, lady. I am not here to help. <laughs> Yeah, this game is definitely a testament to, you know, how 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 much can I focus while I'm you know, I'm having a dark and stormy. It's like how much can I focus while drinking? Let's find out. This here is a map of Cairo. You can use it to travel to other places in Cairo as long as you've been to those places before. All right. Let's go check out some fabrics. Dude, I wonder if there are any chiroglyphs hidden in all this cloth. Dude. Hello, this is fabric. It's gorgeous. I've had customers all over Cairo screaming for it, but they always tell me how much to cut as a fraction problem. Check out the request on the sign. It's your turn to do the math for a chiroglyph, of course. Cut off just the right amount from one of these four bolts of fabric hanging off the top shelf. Just move my scissors over the fabric. When the piece is exactly the right length, let go of the scissors to cut it. I just love that everyone in the district knows who these kids are and what they want. All right, so it is four eighths plus two eighths, which is six eighths. Awesome. Here's a chiroglyph. No way. Another order? Uh, four fifths minus one fifth is three fifths. That is going to make the most totally stunning outfit. That fabric totally. is like, like so oh in. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so fractionally fried. Can you help me out and cut the right length of cloth? One eighth plus three eighths is four eighths. I am so in awe of you. You rule. It rule. Uh, that was my last chiroglyph. I am so bummed. Cool story, bro. Bye. All right. Ooh, coffee. I could use coffee. Excuse me, dude. I mean, uh, sir. Dude. We're looking for some chiral glyphs. Do you know where we might find any? Today's your lucky day. I have my own collection right here in the shop. Help my way to deliver the right amount of coffee, and I'll give you a glyph. Read the question on the sign. Then place cups that add up to the correct answer on the waiter's tray. You can make the correct answer using two or three cups. All right, so uh, 190 plus 80 is 270. You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Oh my god, that uh, that unlocked a core okay, memory. Coffee breaks over. Wow. All right. Uh so it is going to be 310. So, we're going to do 1 2 3. You kids sure know your math. You deserve a chiroglyph. A chiroglyph. Okay, coffee breaks over. <laughs> All right, uh, 270. Your mental capacity is astounding. 
Well, that's it. I'm all out of hieroglyphs for now. Hi, Chris. Glad to see you in, friend. Uh, yes, the tiara is definitely the star of the show. All right. So... Um... Yeah, let's go over to the boat. The boat place. Let's see. This map is uh, more convoluted than it needs to be. But it does actually nicely capture the feel of uh, these old kinds of cities. Sorry. All my boats are rented right now. When you're ready to leave Cairo, come back again. Got it. So we're we'll not able to... We'll be back. Uh, I don't know. So this was done by the Learning Company, which did a whole bunch of educational games back in the day. Uh, I don't know if Torrance Passage is one of them. Hey, Andrea. Welcome. How's your evening going? Trying to find my way to that last one. I just wanted to finish Spiritual Warfare. Because I got to the final fight and then looked at it and just said, I'm going to start crying. So I'm just going to leave this alone for right now. Ugh, taxes. Hello, kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. Uh, Spiritual Warfare was a huge core memory for me. Uh, at least, you know, that, that whole thing, nothing is certain, but death and taxes. At least death only happens once. Yeah, theoretically. Alright. Where is it? Sorry! You can only travel to places you've already seen. I mean, at least theoretically it only happens once. If it happens more than once, you've done something wrong. All right, so. I'm up here. Hmm. Game. Why you gotta be like this? Okay. I always wonder, though, because, like, one of the things that was underlined with Buffy the Vampire Slayer was that uh, she was like, why did you bring me back? I was getting to rest. Okay, got a new area to wander into. Hey, here we go. Ah, what have we here? Visitors. I hear you're looking for chiroglyphs. Well, you've come to the right place. Read the question on the banner. Then drag the stone with the correct answer from the wall onto the sled. Every time you answer two questions, I'll give you a chiroglyph. What is that voice? can't even what early egyptian civilization was divided into two kingdoms the upper kingdom was the area south of the first cataract or narrowing of the nile the lower kingdom was made up of the area between the first cataract and the mediterranean sea this area was over 250 miles wide its shape was like that of a greek letter the triangle that's why the mouths of all rivers are now known by the name of that letter delta As Ra, the mighty god, steered his ship carefully through the night river, he heard a low, soft hissing. Suddenly, rising out of the darkness, there appeared a huge fanged beast with four heads. It was the feared snake god Apepe. Ra quickly threw a small jug of olive oil as far as he could. Splash! The snake beast quickly turned toward the sound. 
Ra changed his sail to catch all the wind and sped safely away from the snake. Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. I can't get over this voice. I can't. Here's another challenge for you. The Aswan Dam was one of the most ambitious building projects in recent history. Completed in 1971, it created the largest man-made lake in history, Lake Nasser, named after Abdul Nasser, the Egyptian president at that time. The Aswan Dam was, dam was built to provide hydroelectric power from the Nile River. It also provides a steady supply of fresh water for the agriculture of the region. This game is nuts. Uh, who was the god of Earth? Geb, the ancient Egyptian god of the Earth, was jealous of the sun god Ra's power over the heavens. He thought that Ra kept a special secret in a jewel box. One night while Ra was sailing, Geb stole into Ra's tent and opened the box. A poisonous cobra sprang out and sprayed Geb with venom. Geb was severely burned. When Ra returned, he found Geb lying on the floor. Using a lock of his own hair, Ra drained the poison from Geb and saved him. Geb never again looked where he shouldn't. Look, my guy, there are special things that we keep in the boxes that are in the bedside table. That's why you don't give it. Go dig in through the bedside table. You're lucky it was just a cobra. Excellent. Once again. And now, how about this one? Uh, what direction was the Upper Kingdom from the first cataract? Early Egyptian civilization. All right, we've already read this one. Uh... So the Upper Kingdom is south of the first cataract. I mean, daggers are just kind of a given. I actually used to keep uh, two daggers between my mattress and bed spring with the handle sticking out because I could grab them very quickly as I roll out of bed. And yes, I did practice this. Uh, how many heads does a Pepe have? There are four. You impress me greatly. Here's one of my precious chiroglyphs. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. All right, we've got 12. Let's do this. And since we've been there before, back to the creepy old man. Take all 12 chiroglyphs out of the backpack and give them to me. Then I'll translate a clue. Yeah, the nostalgia on this game is nuts. Like, all the things that you don't know that you remembered, you remember. Ah. Uh. Twelve chiroglyphs. Good work. Hmm. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Here it is. Here is your first clue. Out of stone I am made. Great secrets underlaid. What am I? Cool. I wonder what it means. A pyramid? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on, clue finders. Four more clues to go. Cool. The five clues on this scroll will lead you to the missing relics and your professor. So, you know, we've only got to do... This is definitely, like, the most busy work of the, of the game. All right, well, we've been to all of them... Once already. Yes, 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 young adventurers. Read the tags and send these packages to my customers. This continent borders on Africa. This continent borders on Europe. That'll be Asia. You are such a help to me. Ding. This continent borders on the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, but it is not Antarctica, which makes it in uh, Africa. I can't words tonight. Excellent. Tease. One. This more, Nile. More, more. Will these customers never stop clamoring? The Nile River flows to this country. This country borders on the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it's where we're at. 
It's Egypt. My customers will be delighted. Will be delighted. At least her accent kind of makes sense for the area. Kind of. The country borders on the largest lake in Africa. This country borders on Kenya and Sudan. Uh, Kenya, Sudan. Uh, so that would be Uganda. Your skill is exceptional. Ah, oh, more packages. Hey, Andrea, is this what work is like for you every day? This country is a peninsula in the Mediterranean Sea, and it borders on France. You are such a help to me. East of Vietnam, and made up of islands. Technically, you could say Brunei as well, kind of, but it's the Philippines. Your skill is exceptional. I'm all out of hieroglyphs, but I could still use your help. If, if only you had four young adventurers to help you put pins on the places that they need to send them. Well, if it isn't... You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Okay, now. You are so smart. Well, I'm glad you're working for me. Okay, now. Pile the coffee on. The coffee. Uh... Yes. You kids sure know your math. You deserve a chiroglyph. A chiroglyph. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm all out of Kyra glyphs for now. All right, let's go chat with Tiny. Select the stone that answers the question and put it on the sled. I can't get over the voice that he's using. It kind of sounds like if Ben Shapiro inhaled helium and then got drunk and slowed way down. Uh, where did Geb think Ra hid things? In a jeweled box. What large body of water was on the northern border of the Lower Kingdom? Uh... Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. <laughs> and now, a new problem. Thoth was the Egyptian was Egyptian god of wisdom. The ancient Egyptians believed that Thoth taught them to make marks in clay to communicate. The Egyptians used pictures engla engraved in clay tablets to tell their stories. We now call these pictograms hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics are inscribed on many of the inner walls of temples and pyramids in Egypt and tell the history of this ancient land and its people. He is the god of wisdom. It's quite a description. But you knew exactly what I meant, didn't you? Most of the ancient Egyptian gods had some of the same traits as animals. For example, the god Wepawawet Wepawa was depicted with the head of a wolf. When Ra sailed his boat through the perils of the underworld each night, it was Wepawawet who stood in the bow of the boat, spying the way ahead. With his sharp eyesight adapted to the dark of the night, Wepawawet safely guarded Ra's nightly journey. Same traits as animals. Again, you succeed. Well done. And now, how about this one? The Egyptians adopted many gods from other countries. One of the most popular was a dwarf from Libya known as Bess. Unlike the tall, trim gods of Egypt, Bess was short and stout. Hey, almost like him, except that he's tall. He enjoyed good music and fine food. He helped the people make jewelry and makeup. A carving of him was often kept in the homes of Egyptian families. He was from Libya. Oh, what did Ra change his name to at night? The Egyptian sun god was called Ra during the day, but at night he became Atum, the evening sun. 
Every night, as he sailed his ship through the dangerous waters of the underworld, he would encounter the feared serpent, Ap Apep. However, as a tomb, he could change into a giant cat. Yes! One night, when Apep opened its gaping mouth, a tomb quickly changed to a cat and clawed Apep's tongue. Apep roared with pain and splashed back into the river. I do like these stories. Uh, his name became a tomb. But of course. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on hieroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. Three more. All right, let's go. Let's go. Like, cut some fabric, yo. Oh, I am. So one fifth and four fifth is five. Uh, one. Wow. One sixth and four six is five six. No, nope, that's not it. Since oh, minus. Jesus. Awesome. Here's the uh, yeah. No way. Another no order. No way. Uh, three tenths plus two tenths is five tenths. You are right. You are so right. You are so right. You're so right. Like, no oh way. my god. Another order? Uh, five sevenths minus two sevenths is three sevenths. You rock. You roll. You make fractions from a hole. <laughs> okay, I do actually appreciate that, was that the rhyme. I am so bummed. All right, let's go get our second clue. Good evening, Professor. Professor? I trust your quarters are comfortable. You have quite a wonderful dungeon, Loveless. Tenth Dynasty, I believe. You know, there's a funny story here involving a king that... Yes, yes, I've heard it. Now then, Professor, you must come with me. It's time we had a little... talk. How nice! Shall we talk about Egypt? Don't feign ignorance with me, Professor. You will answer my questions. You will. You will. I do love how cheerfully here, oblivious how cheerfully oblivious the professor is. He's just like, oh, I get to do, meet new, new friends and go on adventures. Aha! Here's the next clue. An icon carved of ancient stone, missing only my rightful throne. Who am I? Cool, but what does it mean? I'm working on it. Come on, clue finders. Let's go get those chiroglyphs. Oh, joy. Yay. Now we get to do this three more times. I'm having to start speed running some of this. Further west than Havana. Let's keep those packages moving. Further west than Havana and in the United States. Nolans. Australia is farther west than the country. And the country is smaller than Australia. This continent is an island. It is not Antarctica. This, this state shares a border with Canada and the state borders four Great Lakes. that for? Sure. This U.S. state has mostly subarctic and tundra climate zones. This state is the northernmost state of the United States. Hi, Alaska! Uh, this continent has the largest desert area and it is east of the Atlantic Ocean. Africa. We start speed running these because mer. All right, seven plus four is, or Maybe. seven times four is twenty is twenty eight. I can words. I knew what you I sure meant. You got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Uh, all right, eight times twelve. Uh, five times twelve is uh, sixty. So that's ninety six. I think. Yes. Is that right? Oh, now I'm questioning myself. Damn it. Uh, 
Hi, Nia. Yes. You can shoot. At least this one's easy. Fifty-five. Hmm. Okay. Like, check out the request on the sign. Find an equivalent fraction to fill the order. What's fun about this one is that any of these can be correct because seven over seven is one, just like awesome. 24 over Here's 24. I am so fractionally fried. Can you help me out? Four eighths is one half. You. And six eighths is, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's three fourths. You are right. Had to pause and stare at that for a second. All right. <clears throat> cool. One of the strangest structures ever built is the Great Sphinx. It is said to depict the face of the ruler of the time, Kafari, who ruled over 4,000 years ago. His body is shaped like a giant lion. Hundreds of years later, the Greeks invented stories of monsters with the heads of animal of people and the bodies of animals, perhaps inspired by this huge statue. One of the most famous stories of all time is the Riddle of the Sphinx. Uh, those are inner walls of temples and pyramids in Egypt. Bepawawet has the head of a wolf. Uh, Bess was tiny. He was a small king. You Im Rob was confident that his plan to ward off the evil servant Apep would work. Coiled asleep atop the deck house of his boat was another serpent known as Mehen. Rob made sure all his crew stayed off the deck that night as, as he made his way through the underworld. When Apep struck, Mehen awoke, anger that his sleep had been disturbed. Apep and Mehen fought a fierce battle until Ra's boat emerged safely from the darkness. Uh, Egypt had rulers for how many years before the name Pharaoh was used? Many people think that all ancient Egyptian rulers were called pharaohs. Actually, that name was not used until the 18th century, uh, the 18th dynasty. At that time, the Egyptians began to refer to their ruler by the name of his palace, Pero. Pero means big house. In the stories of the Bible, Egyptian rulers are called pharaohs. That is why some people think all ancient Egyptian rulers were called pharaohs. Actually, there were rulers in Egypt for a thousand years before people began to use the name pharaoh. You are very skilled, young ones. Here's a chiroglyph. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. I may have some more. You better, old man. I have one question, Professor. Where is the ring? And what ring would that be? You know what I'm talking about, Professor. The ring. The ring. The ring. The ring. The ring. Do not mock me, Professor. Don't mock you. You will tell me where to find the ring, otherwise your students will... Wait. Your students? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> he disgraces the name of Alistair. We're back, Miss. The next clue. A lonely vigil. I guard the gate. Five thousand years, and still I wait. Where am I? Hmm. A five thousand year old stone icon with a throne? Missing a throne. Are we through now? No, Lab Trap. We've got to get the rest of these clues and find the professor. Let's go. 
I do agree with Lab Trap. It is a, a little bit absurd that they expected people to do these four things five times when the third grade thing was so much easier. Busy, busy, busy. We have a shipping business to run. Yay! Uh, this country is landlocked and it gets 20 to 60 inches of rain per year. Uh, looks like that's Central African Republic. This is the highest mountain peak in South America. This mountain is in Argentina. That was... <laughs> okay. Your skill. Parts of this country get more than 80 inches of rain per year. This country does not border on the Pacific Ocean. This country gets zero to 60 inches of rain per year. This country is landlocked. Uh, zero to 60. Parts of this country get less than 10 inches of rain per year. This country does not border on the Atlantic Ocean. So that'll be Chile. No continent borders the east or west side of this continent. There is no continent north of this continent. Uh, North America. All right. We can do it. Glad to have you back. I got... You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Okay, coffee breaks over. I misread that as 12 times three and somehow managed to get the right answer regardless. Shh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so that's gonna be 48. I'm a little worried at how you slow my brain is getting. Your math. You deserve a caroglyph. Uh, wake up, kids. Here we go again. I am not waking up. You can't make me. All right, 120. You can sure keep. All right. Two thirds. Awesome. That is going to make them. Uh, it's going to be twelve twentieths. That is going to And off to Tiny. Move the correct answer to the sled. I've still got more chiroglyphs. In ages past, time was told by the phases of the moon, the rising and setting of the sun, and the changes of the seasons. In Egypt, the goddess who ruled the measurement of these changes was known as Sashat. Pictures of her found on temple walls show her with a star, a crescent, and feathers atop her head. It was through her guidance that stonemasons found the correct time to place the foundation stones for a new building. So this game came out in 98, somewhere in that neighborhood, somewhere between 96 and 98. I wonder how much what we knew then has changed to what we know now. I'm, I'm so curious. Who was the Egyptian god of the forge? Like many civilizations, ancient Egypt had a god responsible for forging metal. His name was Ptah, often shown as a burly dwarf. Ptah also served Ra as a clever warrior. It is said that he once ordered thousands of rats into the camps of the, in the camp of the, of the feared Assyrian armies from the east and had the rats eat their bowstrings. Helpless without their weapons, the Assyrians were easily defeated by the Egyptians led by Ramses. Yeah, but which Ramses? There were a lot of them. Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. Here's another challenge for you. 
Uh, Mahan was coiled to sleep. So sleep. Uh, from the 18th dynasty. But of course. And now, how about this one? Ra was both feared and revered as the chief god of the Egyptian pantheon. One of the ways he kept track of the great kingdom of Egypt, which ran the length of the Nile, was quite interesting. He would pluck out an eye and let it fly all over the land, from the temples of the priests to the farms of the floodplains. Using the wandering orb, Ra could see if there were any problems in the land or any who dared to question his power. The rising and setting of the sun. But Told of course. time. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on chiroglyphs. Come back later. Find the children. Follow them. When the time is right, take the ring and bring it to me. Now go. The time is fast approaching. Soon, the whole world will know the name Alistair Loveless the third <laughs> the third two other generations were inflicted with that name and they did it again to the to their child also he was a street kid on on the streets of London like I'm not gonna say that that poor people don't have you know such and such, the, the the second, third, and whatever. It's just less Aha! common. Here's the next clue. By likeness, I immortalize, and behind me, my treasure lies. Hmm. I wonder what it means. Let's go. There's one more clue to translate. Thank God. Last one. Let's do this. Oh, you've returned. I'm so glad. My last staff sent all of my boxes to a wandering tribe of penguins in Antarctica. Ah! What a chilling affair. Okay, yeah, but Guillermo and you don't live on the streets. Uh, this state borders on Idaho. This state's elevation is 1,000 feet and above. I mean, yes, but again, Alistair. You are such a help to me. Alistair Loveless is English, so it's not a. It would not be a common practice necessarily for, you know, it, it might be a common practice, but it is not. Uh, it's not because uh, Al Alistair Loveless is Mexican. To the west of Denver and in the mountain time zone. Excellent. It stays in the Pacific time zone, but does not border on the Pacific Ocean. You are such a help to me. I mean, in fairness, no, I haven't talked to G about where he grew up. It feels like prying. The highest elevation is about 300 feet. And it borders on the Atlantic Ocean. Excellent. To the west of Nolens and in the central time zone. You are such a help to me. The borders on California. It's a thousand feet, one thousand five hundred feet and above. Yeah, there's a lot of repetition in this game, but it's still a lot of fun. All right. Let's go do some coffee. Read the question on the sign. You sure got the hang of this business. Take this here glyph. Take this here glyph. 
Okay, coffee breaks over. Hey, how about we trade hot coffee for your hard work, huh? Oh, okay, okay, take this here glyph. I ain't okay, here for my well, health, old man. Coffee on I say old, he's probably actually about my age. You kids sure know your math. You deserve a chiroglyph. Well, that's it. I'm all out of chiroglyphs for now. That's a game that I should play on here, because I did grow up playing uh, the Oregon Trail. Check out the request on the sign. It's your turn to do the math. For a chiroglyph, of course. Oh, my Cut turn to do the math. Just the right amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, two six plus two thirds, which is four six, is a whole. Awesome. Here's a chiroglyph. No way. Another order? All right. So we're going to have to turn these into eighths. So that will be two eighths plus one eighth is three eighths. That is going to make the most totally stunning outfit. That fabric stunning. is like so in. There was another one that was all about like homesteading where you started off with 160 acres and a mule and I don't remember what it was called. So I'm gonna try to track that down one of these days. I am so in awe of you. All right, last one, off to Tiny. Read the question carefully. Then move the correct stone onto the sled. His voice surprises me every time. Uh, the ancient Egyptian god Osiris had a brother named Set. Set was a jealous and angry god. Set was also quite clever. Set invited all the gods who were his friends to a great banquet, and he also invited Osiris. There was great feasting and music. Set brought out an immense jeweled box and said that whoever could fit inside would own the wondrous box. Osiris climbed in and lay down. Immediately, Set slammed the lid shut and his guests helped him seal Osiris inside. Uh, what is the name of the pair of the pharaoh discussed in this paragraph? Thothmes the Fourth was a clever pharaoh. He had been asking his people to clean the grounds around the Sphinx for some time, but they didn't want to. Thothmes's palace was near the Sphinx, and looking at the huge figure, he had an idea. Thothmes waited for a solar eclipse. Casually, just hung out waiting for a solar eclipse to happen. Then he told the frightened people that Horus, the god of the sun, had promised good times if the sand around the sacred Sphinx was cleaned. The people worked hard and the sun came back. Everyone was happy. Ha ha ha! You are very wise for being so young. Here is a chiroglyph for you. Here's another challenge for you. Mm. The ancient Egyptian god Set was a vicious and angry god. Every month they turned into a tusked, pig-like creature and flew into the night sky. There he ate the moon, bite by bite. Osiris would have to change... Oh, we're gonna take a quick break for the folks who are not uh, subscribers to wait for that ad break. Welcome back, everyone. Osiris would have to change into a Bennu bird and fly up to the moon to do battle with his evil brother. Set was defeated each month by Osiris and fell to Earth, only to return once he had regained his powers by resting in the underworld. Uh, so every month he attacked the moon. Who did the Egyptians blame for natural disasters? The people of ancient Egypt believed that natural disasters were the working of the gods. Ra, the chief deity of their pantheon, sailed a bark each day across the sky. He was swallowed every night by Apep, his giant serpentine adversary, only to emerge victoriously at sunrise. 
Sometimes these battles were quite fierce and lasted a long time, creating storms, eclipses, floods, and other awesome events. Hey, Moogle, welcome. Uh, was, was it called Odell Lake? I don't remember. Odell, Otto? You are very clever, and here is your reward. One more. Can you solve this one? In 1799, Napoleon led his French army through the Nile Valley. Near the town Rosetta, one of his soldiers found a large dark stone with markings all over its surface. Many of these markings were in an Egyptian language of pictures that nobody could understand. The stone also had markings in Greek. Because Greek was a known language, scholars could decipher the ancient picture language of the Egyptians. We now know this language as hieroglyphics. The ancient Egyptian gods, Horus and Set, had been waging war on each other for days and weeks. The heavens shook with their battle over who would rule. Benadad, the ram god, was weary of their arguing. He suggested that they write a letter to the goddess Neith, known for her ability to see both sides of an argument and to judge well. Horus and Set agreed, and Benadad and the rest of the gods enjoyed peace once more. They were fighting over who would rule. You impress me greatly. Here's one of my precious hieroglyphs. I'm sorry, but I've fallen a bit short on... That's the last one! Yes, yes. Fucky bye! Ring, I can proceed with the ceremony. Ooh, are you getting married? How lovely. I'm not getting married, you twit! I am an evil man. And I am up to no good. Say, what sort of a ceremony is this, anyway? Ah, so you're finally beginning to understand. With the ring, I will focus the astral energy that will unleash the power of Set. No. Yes. No. No. Yes, yes. Oh, my. This could be a problem. <laughs> Oh, Remember bloody Mr. finally. I just want to know where he gets that sub sandwich and why everything isn't wilted. Ah, here's the final clue. Tap the nose, then twice the knee, then the secret door you'll see. Hey, now that sounds like something we can handle. Yeah, these clues are starting to make sense. Right. It's made of stone, it belongs on a throne, and if we use the clues properly, it will unlock a door. And bring us closer to finding the professor. Let's go, clue finders. Sorry, all my boats are rented right now. When you're ready to leave Cairo, come back again. Come back later when you're done clue finding in Cairo. Wait, no, we're done. We did the thing. What are you doing back here? I've already told you what you need to do. The application of a little brain power should enable us to solve the riddle of these five clues. It's in Cairo somewhere. A lonely vigil, I guard the gate. Okay, I think I know where it is. That's this fella, isn't it? Whoa! Whoa! Hi, Dude, Kitty. That rocked! This must be the place the antique dealer told us about. Let's get in there and take the next step toward finding the professor. Hello, Sherlock. You're not Sherlock, you're John. You are a fat cat. Hello How again. How did he get here before us? 
When you get to be 5,000 years old, you'll learn about a secret passage or two. So what's the deal? I thought you said the secret that would lead us to the place of power would be here. Patience! To unlock the secret, you must first solve this ancient puzzle. Use the colored pieces to complete the rectangle on the wall behind me. He totally is the Crypt Keeper. I, I completely agree now. Let's see. Hey dudes, check it out! It looks like there's another scroll in there! If you make me go to all of them again, I'm going to burn something. Oh no, I can't read a word of this. Can you help us out? He Kids does look like Doofenshmirtz, you're right! Hieroglyphics. When did they stop teaching hieroglyphics in school? So, what does it say? Well, it goes something like this. <coughs> the threat to our land is deep and dark. Stopping it won't be a walk in the park. But you have proven worthy and wise. What a swell bunch of gals and guys. Yeah. But when the pretender tries to take the throne, you won't be able to stop him alone. You'll find allies in a secret place on the Nile, but getting there may take you a while. You can't walk or fly there. You'll have to float. So get out of here and go south in a boat. Ugh. That has to be the worst piece of poetry I have ever heard. 100% well, agreeing. you heard the man. Let's go find a boat. You know, he might be lying about the hieroglyphics, say. But as long as it gets us in the right direction. Huh? Oh, now you're open for business. We're headed south and in a hurry. Do you have a boat we can rent? Sure do, <laughs> but there's some assembly required. Here's what you gotta do. Select the parts you want from the sign. You need one hull, one motor, and one sail. When you're ready to go, launch the boat. Ooh, I kind of love the idea of this being a Doofenshmirtz backstory. That would be cool. Click on launch after you pick the three parts you want. Don't blub, worry, blub, 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 blub. I've got plenty of spare parts. You can build another boat. coming to a stop by itself. And look, there seems to be a large obelisk behind those trees. I wonder if that's the secret place on the Nile the antique dealer mentioned. Owen's right. Clue finders, let's dock this boat and check it out. Oh, joy. Kitty. Hello, darlings. I see you have found your way to my palace. The help you seek lies within. All right, let's go in. I'd love to let you through. But first, there is the small matter of the palace doors. As you can see, they are covered with lovely gems set in beautiful patterns. But some of the gems were stolen by the vile mice in this area. The mice. Why don't you go and get them back? Well, darling. These mice are a little bizarre. They seem to be convinced that they are ancient Egyptians and spend their days building pyramids and columns and such. They are a little too weird for me. <laughs> uh, don't be such a fraidy cat. Let me propose a bargain. If you get those awful mice to give you back the stolen gems, and use them to complete the pattern on each of my five doors, I will open the doors for you. When you have repaired all five doors, you can enter the palace. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go see those mice. Kitty go stretch.
this here is a map of the Nile Kingdom. Oh my you goodness. You can use it to travel to other places in the Nile Kingdom. As whap, whap. Your stealth checks are bad and you should feel bad. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings! I am the great artist of this land. I have just drawn a masterful hieroglyph here. You can help me by making a sentence to describe my drawing. Move the stones from below into the space underneath my drawing. Choose the words that best describe my beautiful pictures. When you're like done, put the stone with the period on it at the end of the sentence. <laughs> like done with it. The lion jumps at the gazelle. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. Here's another masterpiece. Every a time you complete two sentences, you'll earn a gem. Not a bad deal, huh? Mm -hmm. The fox pulls the cart over the bridge. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique! As a bird must fly, so I must, like, paint. The hawk will grab a fish out of the river. Yoink. You understand my unique style, no? No. And now for another, like, masterpiece! An egret roams across the field to the river. Da, 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 da. Your sentences are as good as my drawings. Hey, uh, pal, check out this hieroglyph. Um, a heron walks across a creek to a field. You and I, as a duo, we are magnifique. Here's another one. The woman watches the bird fly toward her. You understand my unique style, no? It is marvelous to have your help, but for now I'm all out of gems. Bye. All right, up to the next one. Huh? Greetings. Can we help you? Can you help me? My dear child, you can have my job. I am Postmaster General, and these are my associates. Uh, hello? You need to direct my associates from the start position on the map 
all the way to the cheese. To tell them how to get there, move the pieces with the correct directions on them from below onto the scroll here. One, two, three, four. So four miles east first, and then seven miles north. All right, you rodents, spread out. Meow. Dun, 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 cheese! Hey, Carlos, cheese! Hey, Carlos, oh, cheese! Cool ever one. Here's a gem. I need that as a ringtone. So, are we done? Not yet. Uh, four miles west. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven miles south. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, fellas! Jeez! You're so clever. You could take my job. <laughs> Wow, you kids never quit. You've got character and guts. <laughs> Five miles west, eight miles north. Let's expedite our task, fellas. For rapidness is the key to the completion of our mission. Hey, fellas, cheese! At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done. I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you're wonderful. You'll work for free, right? Not a chance in the hells. All right, so we need to get back around. I used to be an Uber Lyft driver, Moogle, I understand. Hey, dude, what you building? I'm not a dude, I'm a mouse, see? And we're building a pyramid, one sentence at a time, see? And we could use some giants like you, yeah. Yeah. How much does the job pay? Don't worry about that, kid. You'll earn a gem. Now help me fix this stone sentence, see? Fit the stone with the correct word into the sentence. Yeah. Nah. We need a stone with a word that means the opposite of that word. You're doing all right, see? Keep this up and you'll go places, kiddos. They're little, but they've got what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> All right, step it up. No vacation, see? See. How much do you think a pyramid weighs? You giants are headed to the big town if you keep this up. The yeah. big town, yeah. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. <gasps> Let's keep those stones moving. Egypt is a country in northern Africa. You birds are sharp, real keen. Yeah, that's it. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. <sighs> hey, uh, I got a little problem. I'm temporarily out of gems, see? I may have some more later, but if you want to stay and help, that's okay with me. Yeah. It's so funny that all of them say, yeah, if you want to help for free, cool. I'm like, come on. Hey, you're right on time. <laughs> I'm fixing nothing. Master builder. This palace is going to be state of the art. 10 floors, 50 car garage, 250 watt stereo system, an ancient Egyptian temple with all the modern amenities. Cool, if that's what you want. To help me build a column, Drag the column pieces from the ground onto the column base. You need to build a column that's exactly the height shown on the blueprint. Build three columns and earn a gem. Hey, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Hey, 
most excellent. Oh, you could build your own palace. You damn right I could. Yeah, that's true. This is very much uh, preparation for corporate time. life. Oh, that is just gone. Okay, okay. cool. One more time. number at the bottom of the column you're building that's exactly how i was not trying to ask for help my guy we're back and we have all 12 gems just take the gems from your backpack and use them to complete yep nope i got this dun 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 da dum da dum Stop it How magnificent you have unlocked the first door now there are only four more to go. You will need 12 more gems from those horrid mice for the next oh, one. Horrendous. Come back when you have the gems you need to repair the door. All right. Speed run on. Bonjour. The horse pulls the cart down the road the bird lands on the rock in the river the bird lands near the rowboat the eagle snatches the snake off the ground yoink the large bird will fly over a man's Head. Period. Bye. Yep. A man stands at the front of the sailboat. All right. Got those three. More cheese! Fantastic! Fabulous places, everybody! Action! Roll em. Seven miles east. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Oh. I was reading it backwards. Two, three, four, five miles north. Seven miles west. All right, you rodents, spread out. Oh, you are the clever one. Here's a gem. Oh, oh, oh. 
I like you kids. So winsome and winning. Winsome and winning. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, fellas! Cheese! You're so clever. You can take my job. So, are we done? Not yet. Six miles east, eight miles north. Let's expedite our task, fellas. They are. Our rapidness is the key to the completion of our mission. They move very fast, because all those are a mile. Like, that's basically a whole day's march they do in like three seconds. At this rate, I'll be flat broke by the time we're done. I'm fresh out of gems, but I know you're wonderful. You'll work for free, right? Not a chance. Ugh. Map. You know the routine. Help build a sentence in exchange for a gem. Uh, the Nile River is over 4,000 miles long. Was ruled for thousands of years by pharaohs. Whip wa wet guarded Ra's boat each night. Are there the three stages? I didn't Real catch that key. one. Yeah, that's it. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, uh, I got a little problem. Okay, are we on the same page? Yep, we're on the same page. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh. 8.6. Decimals is easy. Just be sure to line up the decimal points. All right, door two. The time is fast approaching, Professor. Soon my minions will return with the ring, and the power of chaos will be mine to control. You can't control chaos, Loveless. Uh, can you? You're you're. Tangling with forces beyond your comprehension. Nonsense, my dear professor. I comprehend just fine. With the power of Set at my side, the world will soon rue the day they ever heard of me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I swallowed my mint. I thought I remembered there'd be a time that he like choked on a on something while laughing. It's weird the memories that are getting unlocked. We're back and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack your and backpack. use them to complete the pattern on the door. Red leather, yellow leather. Oh. 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 Oh.
Darlings, you are truly fantastic. You've managed to repair the second door. I'm afraid you need to go back. Welcome back. Pink feather, purple feather. Why? That one's a little bit easier for me, weirdly. Now help me fix this. To the mouth of the Nile River, stones for the pyramids. Often came from thousands, hmm. hundreds of miles wow. away. Mm. Oh. You giants are. Hieroglyphics were carved. You guys are the real deal. You're big time. Yeah, mm, sure. big, time. big time. Yes, yeah. Let's go, you mice. We've got lots of work to do, see? See ya. Okay, are we on the same page? Hmm. Let's build more columns. Build more columns! Quality craftsmanship. <laughs> Eight fifty. I do appreciate that these are that these get harder and harder as you get deeper in. But you know, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My young assistant, you're back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm? One, two, two, three, four. All right, you rodents, spread out. That's very cute. Oh, I love it. The clever one. Here's a gem. <laughs> all right, all right. Set him up. One, two, three, four, five. Five miles east. Three, four, five. Five miles south. I like you kids, so winsome and winning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get a move on. Ooh, I got that wrong. Oh. I wish I hadn't clicked through so that people could see what happens when you get it wrong. Next time I'll get one wrong on purpose. Bonjour. And ox drags the wagon across the bridge. 
and eagle will seize a fish from the water. The wild bird walks very slowly to the sea. A heron sprints across the stream and sand. The oversized bird flies slowly overhead. I do like the word choices that they use. A boat drifts calmly down the peaceful river. Nope, I've got all the gems. Back to the cat. No! Hey, let go, you big bully. Hey, uh, come on, fight fair. Hey, I can take you. I stop, let go. Oh, uh, Tagu Siam Singh, come to Papa, little ring. Yuck, is that thing alive? Fascinating. Yeah. Hey, you guys feel like giving me a hand here or what? Oh, sorry. Oh, no! They got the ring! Wait a minute. Who were those guys? I can find out the, the, the next time because there is plenty of uh, doors still to open. We're <clears throat> back and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack. From you your backpack. Ha! <laughs> well, we all know what happens to interns, right? Restore the ancient patterns. Only two more doors remain between you and your goal. You'll need twelve more gems. All right, so we're gonna do two things in this one. Am I glad to see you? I was beginning to think I might have to do all this work myself. in the vivacity of your imagination. Try again. Take your time. And remember, each square on the map... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you rodents. Wow, you kids never quit. You've got character and guff. Four miles north. One, two, three, four... Four miles west, and then south. Okay. So, are we done? Not yet. Three miles north. One, two, three, four. Four miles west. Get back here. And six miles Let south. All right, now we're going to do one for free, just to see. All right, so two miles northeast. Dun dun. One, two, three, four, five. Five miles north, and then two miles west. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, fellas! Cheese! You're doing a great job, but I'm fresh out of gems. There you go. <laughs> Bye. 
Bonjour. You Bonjour. just in time to see the unveiling of my newest master. A mule pulls a cart quickly down a road. A sailor watches the burb fly to the rock. Your scent. A graceful bird will fly to a rock in the sea. This guy's obsessed with birds. You and I as a the hawk will catch the slithering snake. You I was gonna say, Andrea, are you are you uh, hiring this guy to do some of your artwork? You should. A man watches a bird fly high in the sky. The man directs the sailboat's route. Well, here you're doing all right. Add three kinds of writing. Water is an important resource. Hey, we got to stop meeting like this. Yeah, people will talk. Uh, but they do little else. Crashed, son of a. Okay, and this is these were the days before autosave. Let's uh, just for fun. So you want to know what happens? Well. Before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on this piece of paper. Okay, now. A couple of the stones in this sentence are wrong. Fit the stones with the correct words into the sentence, see? Did I just get lucky? Storytellers of ancient Egypt use the gods to explain the changing seasons. Good job, but like I said, I'm all cleaned out, see? All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. I got lucky. I'm not gonna complain. Hey, we gotta stop meeting like this. What the shit just happened? Okay, well, that was a startling thing. No stretch, only what finish. Place like that. Six point forty inches. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now that. Hmm. 
Oh-ho-ho! We here. <laughs> well done, my minions. You have returned with the ring. Now, quickly, return to the tomb and prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Soon, the ceremony begins. <gasps> Not the ancient contraption of chaos. I beg you to reconsider, Loveless. You're making a terrible mistake. Oh, am I, Professor? Am I? <laughs> yeah, you are. We're back, and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your... What bold adventurers you are. Only one more door to go. I'm afraid you'll need to go back to those repugnant mice to gather up 12 more gems. Repugnant mice. Greek historians wrote much of what we know about Doing ancient right. Egypt. The ancient Egyptians had many gods in their pantheon. You guys are the real deal. The god of air was ordered by Ra to separate the Way gods go. of earth You're and sky. Me time. All right, bring on the blocks. There's no time to lose. Hoo <laughs> <laughs> am I glad to see you. <laughs> it's so hard to find good help these days. Especially giant help, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I feel like I should be offended by that. How dare you have done a gem of I a don't. job? Can I help oh, you, sir? You could build your own. John. All right. If you want attention that mm -hmm. badly, you are going to be cat tag. Come here. Okay. Here is the mighty cat tax. Mm. Say hello to the nice people, John. Mm. Go on. Hello. 
9.10. Wow. Now that's quality craftsmanship. I wanted to say giraffe man just because I think it would be funny. A mule drags a cart quickly down a road. A sailor watches the bird fly to the rock. A graceful bird will fly to a rock in the sea. It's fun to try to time uh, dropping the you blocks understand. with the with the beat of the song behind it. The hawk will catch the squirming snake. You're a man watches a bird fly high in the sky. All right, last one. Back to the chiz. Oh, you're back! What a break for me! Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. All right, you rodents. I like you kids. So winsome and winning. Three, four, four miles northwest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Five miles north, one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, all right, set him up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Four miles west. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two. I'm confused. One, two, three, four. No, this is just, oh, I was saying one, three, four. One, two. Am I just missing something? This doesn't look like any of this should work. Two, three, four. Let us expect. Okay, so that ended there. One. One, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna go somewhere else and come back to see if that resets the puzzle because that one's weird. Damn it. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Aha, my young assistant, One, you're two, back. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One mile south. One, two, three, four, five. What am I missing here? Hem, where's the cheese? Give it another go. Be careful. Each square in the map represents two miles. Oh. A little geographic knowledge can go a long way. That's what I'm missing. The, c the key changed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's what I was missing. So that's 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 10 miles west. 1, 2. <coughs> Excuse me. 4 miles south. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And that's the last of the gems. They changed the key on me. That's brutally mean. Is mine. We must prepare for the ceremony. Quickly, prepare the ancient contraption of chaos. Oh, no. Oh, yes. With these ancient pistons and gears in place, this pyramid, long buried underground, will rise from beneath the tomb. And with the pyramid in place, we will be ready to conduct the ceremony soon. I will be the most powerful villain on earth. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we do love a good vil villain monologue. We're back, and we have all 12 gems. Just take the gems from your backpack and use them to complete the pattern on the door. That's all you need to do. Hmm. Quick pause for the ad break for folks. And we're back. Hello, unhandy soul. Welcome. Uh, it's going well. We're just about to open up the last of the doors to, well, find out what's next, I guess. Eh, stop it. Congratulations, my young friends. You may now enter the palace, but what you see inside may surprise you. I don't like surprises. Come on, Laptrap. You know that after all this work, there has to be something good in there for us. Well, let's check it out. have set forth their challenge none but the worthy and wise may cross the river on the bridge of crocodiles gotta get across that stretch of river I guess we couldn't jump it huh hmm I remember reading that some ancient civilizations used to build their bridges in segments yes that's it each of those crocodiles has a piece of a bridge on their head if only we could find a way to knock those crocs into the water. Hey, look at that ancient mechanical device. I bet we could use it to lower the statues into the river. Uh, just drop in a ball. Point and launch. Are you sure it's as simple as that? <laughs> well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. 
It's not quite that easy, young mortals. First, you'll need to move the launcher to the right position. Then, you must use the right force, angle, and mass. To start, choose a ball and place it in the launcher. Next, use the up and down arrows to choose <coughs> an angle. Then, click along the track to move the launcher to the left or right. Finally, pull the plunger to set the correct force. Then, release the plunger to launch the ball. If the ball hits the target on a statue, the statue will lower into the river, forming a piece of the bridge. may cross <laughs> choose a ball and put it in I'd love to if you'd let me Oh, wow, it took that long for it to land. Whoops. That ball didn't fly directly toward any of the statues. Performance, oh tiny mortal. Oh, tiny mortals. <laughs> Verily, thou art mighty and. and make cross you are worthy champions Hooray! All right we bridged the river and i have a feeling something big is waiting just on the other side that sounds correct wow what is this place remember the obelisk on top of the palace yeah i believe we're now inside it that's crazy we'd never been inside that thing you know, you would if it was magic. All right, what is going on? Hiya, kids. Welcome to our palace. We're like really happy to see you, man. This is the part that I remember you most vividly. Yes, time is of the essence. Okay, okay. We've been checking you kids out. You've got spunk. I'm telling you, man. Each of you has intense gifts within you. Yeah, and since you've got a big battle with the forces of chaos coming up, we're going to enhance your gifts by giving you special powers. Uh, we fight the forces of chaos ourselves, but uh, uh, we've got a little hype problem. Anyway, you wacky kooky kids, get ready, because here it comes. Owen, flight! Let's see. Intelligence. Santiago, strength, man. Johnny, bravery. Wow. Oh, right. Neat. Squawk. Hey, Squawk. nice spending time with you. Good luck, kids. Yeet. Look at the palace.
somewhere inside that thing. Let's go, clue finders. Not that Joni needed the help being brave. Really, you need to slow her down more than anything else. Well, what have we here? Looks like a group of fresh young heroes. Unfortunately, I already had a hero sandwich for lunch. Who are you people, anyhow? We're the Clue Finders. We're gonna stop the forces of chaos. Ah, get out of here. Uh, no, really. No, really, get out of here. But to get out, you're gonna have to open the door by choosing the secret answer. Read the question on the door, then place the marker star in the slot next to the correct answer. That sounds simple enough. Simply says, I've been doing this for thousands of years and I still don't understand it. <laughs> uh, the graph is not complete. 26 people chose green as their favorite color. To which point should the bar be drawn? Let's go. We have to find the professor. So long, and remember to use caution. Caution comes in four delicious flavors, red, green, blue, and purple. Oh, and purple. Hey, haven't we seen you before? I don't think so. In fact, I'm not sure I'm seeing you now. You might be something I ate. You kids solved this one with style, which is more than I can say for the decor. We must be going around in circles. Actually, I'd say you were going around in a pyramid. Congratulations. I don't think I've ever seen such a brilliant performance. Now move along so I can rehearse my speech for the next group of young adventurers. <laughs> I want to have that show up in a D&D &D game someday. Welcome to the Chasm of Peril. I am Thoth, embodiment of knowledge. Wow! I remember reading about you in my Egyptian mythology book. <laughs> it is good that you are well read, for you will need to use your full mastery of language to overcome this obstacle. You will need to spell words. Pick up the letter tiles from the ground and place them upon the empty spots on the bridge over the chasm. I will tell you each word you must spell to complete the bridge. Spelling our way out of trouble? This is going to be great! Spell this word, trunks. Archaeologists found trunks filled with treasure in the hidden chambers of King Tut's tomb. Young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. To further demonstrate your knowledge, try this word. Ruin. Nothing could ruin the magnificence of the ancient pyramids. Ruin. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. Now spell this word. Their teeth are just a little remember, bit too white. Good scientists always write down their observations so they can remember them. You must be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. For your next challenge, spell this word, report. 
the world was astounded by the report of the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Truly, you are wise and worthy. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell paper. Ancient Egyptians wrote on an early form of paper made from the stem of the papyrus plant. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. I've got to stop this. You will do no such thing. Seize him! Oh dear. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now, Professor. Not you, and not your meddling students. And now, we will begin the ceremony! <laughs> Meddling students? Like, meddling kids? Another door? I can't wait to get out of these tunnels. Tunnels? We must be in a subway station. No wonder my plane hasn't shown up yet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice try, kids. And nice kids try. Oh, which these rooms do not have the same area. Ugh. Three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See you in the funny papers. Of course, if you're in them, they couldn't be all that funny. Wow. Tough crowd. Oh man, it's that freaky dude with the head of a lion. And the heart of a field mouse. Ironic, isn't it? It's been a pleasure, as always. And I always enjoy seeing you kids, though I enjoy it more when you're on the other side of the door. You're back, working your way through college, eh? Actually, you look a little too young for college. Junior college, maybe. How do you learn to be a junior? Hey, Pixel. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Maybe one of these days you can catch one of my shows at the palace. The current picture is called Laugh Yourself Horace, as opposed to my last picture, which was Horace Feathers. progressed well so far but you must again prove yourselves worthy of entry into the deeper realms of the pyramid when I give you a word use the letter tiles on the ground to fill in the empty spots on the bridge spell the word correctly to extend the bridge power the goddess Isis had the power Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell narrow. Large farms were irrigated by a system of narrow. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. A, those baboons are terrifying. B, those butts, though. Word. Navigate. Ancient. You must be wise indeed to solve 
these difficult challenges. To further demonstrate your knowledge, try this word. Trim. Romans used shears to trim hedges and bushes. <laughs> Truly, you are wise and worthy. Now spell this word. Moist. His hands were moist and clammy from nervousness when he went to shake hands with a famous scientist. Moist. Moist. Truly, you... This ring gives me the power to command you! Awake, set, and grant me the power of ultimate chaos! I command you! Huh? My ring! Come back here! <laughs> oh, bummer! Oh, bummer. Yes, that's exactly what he would say. Welcome to the deeper reaches of the pyramid. Of course, you could tell that just by looking, couldn't you? You had better go on and find your professor friend. I remember I once poked a professor in the temple. How he got into my temple, I'll never know. Yeah. When you try to when you try to control chaos, well. We're getting a little impatient with all this. Good thing you're not doctors then. I'm glad I'm not one of your impatients. It's a very like um, Robin Say, Williams humor. Can't you tell us how to get through these tunnels? I don't know about you, but the rest of my script is blank white paper. You know, I've often thought that I wouldn't explore a pyramid that would have me as a guardian. But then, what do I know? Possibly, possibly Say, Groucho. Can't you tell us how to get through these tunnels? That's a good question. I'm very glad you asked that question. Now beat it. It makes me think of Robin Williams, but I also haven't seen much of Groucho Marx. I see that you have made progress deep into the pyramid, but the way ahead of you is long and arduous still. To cross the chasm, you must build a bridge. Spell the words I give you by scarred. The pyramid builder's scarred leg. Truly, you are wise and worthy. The bridge is not yet complete. Now you must spell germ. Egyptians used ale to kill it. Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. For your next challenge, spell this word. Women. Egyptian women wear traditional headgear to... You must be wise indeed to solve these difficult challenges. I do like to this voice actor a lot. To your knowledge, try this word. That low, smooth weird. sound. A weird sound came from inside the cave and startled the explorers. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. <laughs> now spell this word. Misspelled. Text with misspelled words is the work of a careless scribe. Check. 
Though you are young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. Now spell this word. Striped. The striped zebras. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. For your next challenge, spell this word, steel. Despite the security devices used in pyramids, grave robbers were able to... Truly. getting really tired of seeing you around here. You think this is tiring? Try sitting around staring at the same word problem for a thousand years. That'd be pretty boring, honestly. Uh, so it's two and a half. The gazelle and the giraffe. What are you kids waiting for? If you want to get away from my jokes, you have to go through that door. I wish I could. You want to get away from your jokes, too? Well, fair enough. Sheesh, look at the riffraff around here. It's getting so they'll let any group of superpower juveniles in. was terrific. Kids like you don't grow on trees, although many of the things that do are higher in vitamin C. I'd like to be the first to welcome you to what must undoubtedly be your favorite pyramid-enclosed weight problem chamber. Of course, I'll probably be the last to welcome you as well. God's willing and the sun do and the crick don't rise. Well, it's been great working with you. You're now in the inner reaches of the pyramid, so you won't have to solve any more problems on these doors. Maybe I'll see you in the next adventure. Not if we see you first, dude. Leave the comedy to me, kid. on the verge of finding that which you seek. Solve this ancient challenge one final time. When I give you a word, astronaut, the first American... Ah, uh, yes, astronaut. That, that word that famously has anything to do with ancient Egypt. indeed to solve these difficult challenges now spell this word order follow the directions in exactly the right truly Aliens. you are wise and worthy to further demonstrate your knowledge try this word peculiar many animals have the Young, you have truly absorbed the knowledge of the ages. Also, if you think I'm not sounding these words out in my challenge. head, spell this word receiver, a radio receiver. Uh, 
I before E, except after C. Check your spelling. Receiver. A radio. Except for all the times that that isn't the well case. Well done. Show your approval, my baboons. <laughs> the bridge is not yet complete. Creepy. Now you must spell except. Rodents can be found on every continent except Antarctica. Hmm. You must. Bye. Professor Bosch. Kids, what have we here? Even punier humans. Hey, who are you calling human? Just a minute. You can't mummify me, Set. I am your master. I command you to. Yes, yes, yes. I grow fatigued. And now to you, tiny ones. Hey, big bully. You don't scare us. We're here to stop you. Uh, how are we gonna do that, Joni? Yes. How indeed do you propose to do that, my friend? I am, after all, set. I am chaos, and you must do as I say, for I am very big, and you are very, very small. Oh dear, perhaps we should just run. No way, we've got a plan. Right, Leslie? A plan! <laughs> That's right. Joni, you distract him. Hey, over here, y'all. <laughs> Owen, you fly Santiago up to those pistons. Ready, buddy? I'll leave. You. Santiago, push those pistons back in. Uh, uh, almost. We did it! What? How did you, what? You distracted me. The pistons are the earth. No! No! The, the pyramid's collapsing! Get me out of here! No! Wow, cool effects! So that's how it ended. We all packed up because it was time to head home. Me? I was traveling incognito. <laughs> So I wouldn't have to ride cargo. You kids really saved the day. Yeah. We stopped that set dude, but good. And the artifacts were all recovered and returned to their rightful places. Including the ring. And the scroll. Right. And I guess Alistair Loveless won't be bothering Egypt or us again. Good riddance. It'll be too soon the day I see that man again. <laughs> <laughs> we made it! Hooray! Uh, the Hoverbot is their portable computer named Laptrap. I keep wanting to call him Claptrap because that's what I think of, but... That's my brain. We made it through with only one crash of an ancient game. <laughs> oh my God. The things that I had to do to make this, like literally it took me about three hours of fiddling around to try and figure out how to make this work. And now I know how to do it. So the, the rest of the Clue Finder game should be pretty easy to, you know, set up from here on out. But oh boy. That was a challenge. We're gonna put things back where they belong. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. Hello. Ah, oh, that was fun. I always forget just how much fun I have with those with those games because it's like they're they're so old. They're so old, but they're so much fun, right? Ah. Oh. 
get some music on under this. Finish it faster than I thought I would, too. I had planned out three hours uh, in my head to be like, how long is this actually going to take? And it only took about three hours. So, or uh, two and a half, mm, two hours, 40 minutes. Not bad at all. And actually, I think it's less than that. I mean... 30-year-old technology is old. Uh, and also... We're getting there, Andrea. We're getting there. <laughs> as far as the age goes. But, you know. I, I can't say anything. I hang out with uh, with people who are older than than me all the time. Who are still doing all the cool things. Ha. <sighs> <laughs> yes, you are only 35. I am only 36 and will be 37 in three weeks. It'll be very fun. It's true. I we we hang out with a lot of a lot of cool people who are older than than us. Birthday coming up. I'm excited. I don't. I, I haven't decided what I'm going to actually do on the actual on the actual day because like I'm busy all weekend leading up to it, so I won't get to do any like weekend thing. Um, but you know, I might just take the day off, be offline, maybe go to lunch with with uh, with a couple people. But I really just want something low key this year, honestly, because like last year I had a great time. Uh, ben was kind enough. Ben and, and Jess were kind enough to. Uh, host use their to, to offer their house to to host a birthday party uh which was lovely i had a wonderful time i kind of think a little more low-key this year but we'll see we'll see where, where where i go i got a couple couple weeks to think about it but we are now in my birthday month it's all mine oh ha most of the people in the redacted reports have april birthdays as well uh so you know <laughs> Because it's Joseph and Seth and Dan and me. It's just Christy and Ben that don't have uh, April birthdays. And then Matt's birthday's in April. Amy's birthday's in April. There's a lot of us this month. It's pretty excellent. It's a good month. It's a good month. <sighs> but I think I am going to wrap it up for for this evening i'm glad we made it all the way through i was a little i was a little concerned especially when the game crashed that was uh very concerning but i uh, managed to get it back and with really no uh no time loss which is kind of amazing because i don't remember those games having like save points so i'm grateful that i was wrong on that one Ah, but thank you all so much for joining me this fair evening. I hope that your journey back through the mushroom circles to your respective realms is as calm and peaceful as possible. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be back on at about 5 o'clock Pacific time to play Dragon Age Origins. Because I lost time to uh, losing my microphone last week. I must have hit the wrong hotkey. That's all that I can think of that explains what in the hell happened there um but i'm gonna figure out where where i'm at with in there uh where the save point was and work from there um but yeah i'm gonna go cuddle cuddle some cats for the evening i hope that all of you have a lovely rest of your evening and I, I hope that you take the rest of this tiara tuesday to uh sparkle show off your sparkle today i think that that is um very important honestly i may or may not have ordered a new uh, tiara today oops my finger slipped thank you all so much and i will see folks tomorrow bye
should be able to do.